to sin. I want to share one more thing. Rashad has a testimony about how God has helped him through our counseling sessions. And I'm going to let him tell his own story. Thanks, Rashad. You're welcome, Pat. So, I've I haven't been able to hold, you know, keep on to a, keep on a job for more than a year. As long as I held a job over a year, and the job I'm at now, I've been able to hold on to it for almost two years now. Mm-hmm. And um, I've experienced a lot of things in this job where I know it was a test from God, and I know at times it was a attack from the enemy. Right. And, you, you know, use other people, mm-hmm. use wait to get me to quit because he knows where God has brought me from and he knows that God has even more better things for me in the future and he's trying to stop me on my course right now, which is me getting, you know, becoming a man that God is trying to make me and he's trying to mature me through this job and the job is very important and I want to let y'all out there know when you're going through stuff in your job, do not quit because it is working for your good and God is going to turn around. The enemy may be trying to use people against you. You may have to, I've been on jobs where I had to come, you know, work with people I didn't want to work with, but I stuck it out and it's only going to mature you and further grow you in Christ and in life. So you get more, you know, you basically prepare you for the future. To where you have the stamina and the strength to, you know, take on whatever that the enemy throws at you or whatever new challenge that God wants you to, you know, go through and to further grow. Exactly. And um, so, yeah, that I, 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 it, I've had times where it's like anybody else would quit. Like, no way. Cause I have a I have a pretty tough job. I'm crawling under, under houses, going in the attic, <clears throat> and on top of that, I'm dealing with all types of people with different types of attitudes. Mm-hmm. And by the grace of God and by the strength of God, if I'm having this hand on my life and I'm able to keep going, what am I? What a hell they show me like, nope, I'm out. I'm not doing this. And we had so many people get fired. Wow. Or you know, just all type of things. And I've even messed up. And my boss even told me, if it was somebody else for shot, I would have got rid of them. But because wow. of you, but because of you, because it's you were shot, I want to keep you. That's favor. Yeah. And because of him doing that, he don't know how much he saved me or, you know, God used him to soften his heart at that time. Right. Right. And to keep me because they had all the right to fire me because of what I did. And since then, I learned to not do stuff like that and right. be honest right. my job at all times. You know, even when you're doing wrong, still tell the truth. You may think you may get fired, but you know, that make, makes them want to keep you even more because they see that they can trust you. You know? Right. So, like I said, I've had people talk about me, I've had people try to you know, plot against me, talk bad about me, try to make the ball think I'm not doing this and that. And now, God got it to where my customers have been calling into the office and telling the office that because of me, they're staying with the service. And because Look of me, that. yep. And because of me, they're they're um gonna gonna you know what you call them when you request somebody else, you you tell somebody else about the service. Oh yeah, uh huh. You recommend you're giving out recommend yes referrals, right? Yeah, the lady told this one customer said, "I'm going to recommend you, and I'm going to get my other houses, my other you know friends into it." And wow. Yeah, yeah. and I, they've been getting a lot of emails. My my all of them, and when they send out the email, the whole company sees it. Ah. So everybody in the company is seeing it, and they're able to reply to the email and say, "Oh, good job, Rashad." You know what I mean? So. If I would have quit this job, I would have missed on all these blessings. That's right. You know, and, so and levels of growth. Exactly. And it's, it's teaching me endurance. 
you know, stamina, endurance, you know, but even when it gets hard and it gets tough, just say, man, time for me to leave. Like, <laughs> I wanted to, like, I was so close with God. It's like, something, that's the thing, too. Every time I was about to get in trouble or something, try to always be like, made a way for it. And it's like, how do they, like, I should have got in trouble. Like, how am I not? But I'm not, that don't mean take, um, that is advantage. advantage of it, right, right, right. Oh, um, mercy now. <laughs> you exactly. know, he knows your heart, and he knows my heart, and he knows that I don't want it, I don't try to take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. like I said, don't take advantage. Exactly. Be honest. Right. You know, I thank God, and I just want to share that with everybody. Mm-hmm. And, uh, thank you, Rashad. I really appreciate it. Listen, you guys. Um, the reason I bring that up, <clears throat> a lot of times we don't realize how we sabotage our futures. We don't understand how we allow our mouths, our attitudes, our issues get in the way in the way of God working on our behalf. But if you can learn that when the Bible says, "Don't be weary in well doing." For in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Well, listen, let me share real quickly with you about me. 